I'm Molly Sullivan for Hocus Pocus, and this show we're featuring Nathan Burton, the man who locked himself in a box for seven days with seven showgirls. Now, he survived the stunt, he's back to business, and better than ever. He performs nightly on the Strip in the V Theater at Desert Passage in the Aladdin. We're taking you beyond the velvet rope to witness Nathan's magic up close and personal in a way only Hocus Pocus can. My name's Hannah. And my name is Tracy, and I'm also one of the showgirls in the box. I was one of the girls that did the stunt with Nathan in the box when he was in there for seven days, and I have some good stories, but they're very inappropriate. <laughs> Direct from my TV show, the entertainer magician Nathan Burton attempts the unthinkable, a death-defying Vegas-style feat. He'll be sealed in a box with no food and with no water for seven days with seven showgirls. How do you get a job like that? Nathan Burton, comedy illusionist from Las Vegas. You see me on The Entertainer with Wayne Newton. Now see my next challenge, the ultimate challenge, seven days, seven showgirls, one box. All right, this is the box I lived in for seven days. No food, no water, no bathroom break. Every four hours, I got new showgirls. A total of 198 showgirls came through the box over the seven-day stunt. Ugh, my ex-wife hated this trick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, we had a web camera in the box. Over 22 million people checked us on the internet. They voted. They said their favorite part about the entire stunt was the showgirls, yeah. So, Nathan, no one's been lucky enough, or some may say dumb enough, to try what you did. One question, why? Why lock myself in with seven showgirls for seven days with a drink of water? Feels like I'm crazy. Actually, I had two ideas, seven Elvis impersonators or seven showgirls. And, and here they are, yeah, gorgeous that was, that was girls. Cute, wasn't it? Yeah, that was good. Hi. Hi. What a great gig. I mean, you guys definitely have the best job Wait, in Vegas. Jump in there. You're, you're, you're the oh, I, don't, I don't know. Like I don't know. Girl, jump in there. <laughs> Look at that. I like your colors much, much better. So, what is the best thing about working with Nathan? Uh, being part of magic. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, I've got gorgeous women to my right and to my left. But Nathan, you want to uh, talk one on one a little bit? I want to show you a little close up magic if you don't mind. Wonderful. Get into some comfortable clothes and uh, we'll go from there. Sounds good. All right, so we're back with Nathan Burton. You've been dubbed the Magic Man and you've been performing since you were four years old. So how did you become the Magic Man? I did my first show when I was in kindergarten. My mom gave me a magic set. I performed for my classmates. It was a terrible show. And I said, you know what, someday I want to be a magician performing in Las Vegas. Wonderful, wonderful. Dream come true, definitely. Very lucky. What does it take to be, uh, to succeed in, in Sin City? I think you have, to, you have to have the drive. You can make anything happen, but it's just a question what price you want to pay. You have to work really hard, and it's all about hard work. So Wayne Newton gambled on the next big thing with Ease the Entertainer. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the show and the experience that you had on the small screen. You know, working with Wayne Newton was incredible. He's, a, he's an amazing talent. He's been in Vegas for years. It really inspired me to what I want to be in Las Vegas. And uh, he searched the country out of thousands of tapes. He narrowed it down to 25. They took those 25 to LA, and out of that 25, they picked 10, and I was the only magician picked. Now, why is magic considered a trick? I mean, doesn't that really diminish the whole fantasy of, of what magic really is? Well, for me, it's not about fooling you. It's about, I want you to come to the show, and I want you to be entertained. I want you to laugh. I want you to have a great time. I want you to walk out and be like, that was a, it's the best time. You know, if I fool you, hopefully I do a little bit, but it's not about that. It's about entertaining. So, being a magician, do you pull practical jokes on people? We, we've been known to do some practical jokes backstage. Like, sometimes I'll be on, and they'll, they'll prank me even on stage. I'll be on stage and one of our, I'll look over and one of my stage hands will be completely naked. And I'll be trying to talk and be serious and I'll, I'll be like, you know, try not to break, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing. And, but we, uh, it was April Fool's just a while ago and the showgirls were putting like little 
stuff in my shoes and there was a mouse in the box. Rat April box. Fools, we put a we put a rat in the box. And he ended up, yeah, we put a rat in the box and like a popper underneath his shoe. And it, when he lift, lifted the shoe up, you didn't even it didn't even work, but he ended up playing a trick and he was just like, "Oh, if you guys ever put anything in the box again." Like screamed at us for it, but it was that was his April Fools. So I hear you have some tricks that you're going to try and teach oh. the novice over here. You want to actually uh I picked up some spoons over at the restaurant next door, and I just want you to watch. If you can watch close, if you can zoom in and watch, you're going to see it kind of bend a little bit. Uh, do you see it? No, you don't. Okay, let's watch. It's going to start to go. Wow. Starting to go. Just like that, just a little bit. I need you to put your hand out for me. <laughs> put it out in a cup like that. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Pull on it, check it out. Wow. I brought out the big stuff for you. I, uh -huh. Since we're talking about restaurants, I picked up some ketchup from next door. Now I'm gonna make it disappear. Now you're sitting right here, so watch close. Here we go. You see it in there, right? I do see it. Here we go, watch, ready? And it's gone. Okay, I can tell you're not wow. impressed. Let's try it one more time okay. here. Ketchup bottle, here we go, ready? It's in there? It's in there. Okay, ready? All right, so show me a little uh, a challenge. A okay, challenge this is, you can it. actually make money in a bar with this. So this is the challenge. You can pick up a napkin. This is a bandana. And you ask them to pick it up and tie it into a knot without letting go. Uh -huh. So you have to tie it in a knot. Now, this is the challenge. Without letting go. Without letting go. So once you grab it, don't let go. And tie it into a knot. Okay. So grab both ends. Both ends. And tie it into a knot. Oh, goodness. So you can't go that way. You can't let go. You can go. That way, no. The choreography's looking good. I like. Yeah, it so you far. like that. It's a little. Okay, give me a little tip for the novice here. All right, yeah, let's. I'm not you, gonna let go. Here, you actually hold the bandana for okay. me. Okay. Here like we that. go. And this is a little setup here. Uh huh. You give it to me in that hand. Oh, Whoop, I little, see where you're going. There we go. And then pull your hands out. Wow. All right. Thanks, Nathan. Great trick. Thank you very much. And thank you for spending the day with us and, and giving us some insight on, on what you do. Anytime. The magic man. Oh, I like that. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm Molly Sullivan for Hocus Pocus. Thanks for watching and tune in next time for some more magic.